Hello, I'm Adam and today I want to present you another iWave Z uh, spot welder, but this time it's uh, much more budget friendly. Uh, you can buy it for around $110 on AliExpress, link in the description. And uh, yeah, it's like three or four times cheaper than previous uh, P30C. And we'll see if it's that times worse. Uh, the model is uh, UF20B. Okay, so let's unbox it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh. That's how this cute looks like. Uh, UF20B. Uh, there is connector from the side. Uh, as we can see, output voltage is 6 volts. And uh, the power is 10 kilowatts, where the P30C had, I think, 24. So let's say over two times weaker. We will see. But, uh, oh my god. It's so compact and tiny. That's that's my first impressions. What else we've got there? Of course, we've got manual, uh, welding mode, auto, preheating, intermediate gear, trigger time, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, what we've got there? Um, sandpaper, wires, and okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, as we can see, the wires are truly thinner uh, comparing to the previous one. I, I got feeling like I, I've got a toy, <laughs> not the spot welder. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Let's connect it. And what we've got there? Uh, boot logo is same. And we've got Chinese language. Oh my God. Yes! So, uh, to change language you just have to press this thing like two or three times. And yeah, that's it. Okay. It's great. Um, return. Okay, so this works as uh, like enter and this is I think changing option or something. Okay, we can see battery uh, symbol so it's uh, charging. And uh, as you can see, it's half. Okay, and uh, welding mode auto manual, uh, preheating no, intermediate one spot weld gear. Okay, simply, I heard that gear 20 is enough for uh, 0.2 uh, millimeter uh, nickel strip. We'll verify. It got charged already, which was pretty fast. So we'll increase the gear to 20. And yeah, it seems it's ready. So uh, I will get uh, one there, one there. And bam. And as we can see, I think it's pretty solid. Well, uh, first uh, weld uh, we can see there is a hole through, second not, but both got markings on the cell. I would add a little bit more energy and I think that would be enough. Let's try again, one second I will cut it. Uh, gear 40 because why not? It was not too, too big, so I can increase uh, the power. Okay, now we saw it has a little bit more of power. The world looks like this. I'm not sure if you see it. And yeah, they look better. 
yeah it was that's it yeah it was this but again we've got one hole and second we don't got a through hole mm? okay I will increase the power but anyway you saw it was pretty strong a weld but uh, yeah I'm checking those welds uh, on charged uh, capacitors yeah and uh, yes I know that uh, you shouldn't uh, push oh there is a button oh that, that might be nice one second oh no I did it by mistake yeah, I know. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, I think, well, it looks nice. I think it looks nice. Uh, oh, now I tilt it correctly. Yes, I know it's not clean, so yeah. I mean, but anyway, yeah, we've got low gear. Okay, so let's increase the gear to 60 well the welds looks fine and but again only one is whole but uh, we need to know that uh, yeah uh, the surface is not perfect And we are using uh, 0.2 millimeter strip. Okay, 80% of energy. How it will look like. And I'm holding it strong, so. Okay, now, now, now I see. <laughs> there we've got a power. Yeah, there we've got a power and okay yeah that's how it should look like on on 80 gear uh, okay mm, i will try with 99 just to see how is the maximum okay yeah so this thing got power uh, at least on maximum gear and yeah as you can see the world yeah that's how it's supposed to look like <laughs> okay uh, but uh, how about uh, copper uh, because as you remember uh, previously i used p30c and i had to uh, i had to use copper with nickel and uh, it has to infuse and somehow bind uh, with the cell so let me get another okay we've got another um, and there okay and <laughs> yes so it was too easy yeah so uh, if you are thinking about copper, just forget it, yeah? Uh, of course, there I've got uh, 0.2 millimeter copper and 0.2 uh, nickel strip. Uh, but how about nickel strip to copper itself? Mm, okay. Uh, next, I've got uh, thinner uh, copper, uh, thinner nickel strip which is about 40 yeah 15 and uh, let's see how it will work uh, yeah no way <laughs> yeah yeah without problem okay it catched better uh, copper but but yeah feather is uh, like no way no way feather like let's try gear 50 and i will try a uh, thinner uh, nickel strip and let's see what we'll get
Okay, let's try with those two. But normally I would add two more or even four more. But let's see. Yeah, perfectly. So, uh, like summarizing, uh, this tiny boy, or I don't know if it's a boy, as you can see after those sun wilds, we've got 30 degrees. Uh, thermal protection kicks in, in I think 65, so it's nice. It's fully charged, uh, it's charged in like half minute or minute, which is great. Uh, nickel plated strips uh, 0.15 is easy peasy uh, 0.2 is uh, fine but you need to increase your power to like 60s, 70s you need to just verify on your own uh, setup because it's pretty hard to get pure nickel strips to be honest but yeah whatever uh, but I would say it's doable. I mean, if you want to work on maximally 0.2 nickel uh, strips, it's sufficient and I think it will work uh, great. Um, this button in this probe is, mm, from one side is convenient, but uh, you might press it uh, unintentionally and yeah, it will trigger. So I've got mixed feelings. And uh, gear 50. 0.2 and as we can see we've got very nice weld yeah and let's tear it out <sighs> two holes great and uh, yeah i'm not sure how it will overheat uh, when spot welding uh, a lot of <laughs> welds uh, but i think if you set it gear to like 50 that's not that uh, hard for the spot welder so i think it will maintain uh, low temperatures and uh, it will work yeah so summarizing well if you want to stick uh, with uh, nickel plate and don't touch the copper it's great and it costs well I think it's best uh, spot welder for that price tag, like around $110 uh, that you can buy. There are a keg uh, with huge capacitors, uh, but to be honest, mm, I don't trust them, yes? Because uh, with those, there are very high currents, but what's most important for me that is uh, this probe, for example, with button or this uh, trigger interface. Uh, because uh, when you set it to automated, uh, well, maybe you looked like I was, uh, yeah, I've got the strip, I've got the cell, I put the strip like there, then I uh, touch and uh, push to make it even like now. And if I had automated uh, trigger, it would uh, trigger in the meantime when I didn't expect that and it might hurt the battery or yeah, that's not uh, what should be occurred. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> those cables looks very tiny, but well, it's fine. It's fine. Those didn't got hot. So yeah, I just, just did some welds, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's pretty nice device. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.